welcome to Home Farm. Today I'd like to review this Works multi-tool. I've had this multi-tool from Works for many many years uh, and truthfully I've not really used it too much because the extent of my DIY just never really allowed me to, to utilize it. It was only after I moved into this property and I got more into DIY that I just realized just how incredibly useful this particular tool is. What allows you to adapt this tool even further is purchasing the additional blades. This multi-tool came with a set of metal and wood attachments, uh, which I have used for very simple projects. But what has been super, super useful is that as part of the master bathroom gutting project that we've been doing, we've had to remove a lot of floor tiles and that I've covered in a different video. Uh, but this particular tool has just been so incredibly useful because you can cut through the grouting and on really, really stubborn tiles where maybe there's a little bit too much cement that they put underneath the tile and it's difficult to chisel or get the crowbar under. I would burrow underneath uh, the actual tile and it just cuts into the actual glue itself and then it gives you the, the leverage to be able to drive the, uh, the chisel into. I think you're going to struggle to find this particular model for sale anymore. Like I said, I've probably had it for about five or six years. But it's incredible because it's still really robust, it still feels very, very good. And when I've gone to various hardware stores, they don't appear to have changed too much in terms of their design. I think they've just got smarter attachments for here, but changing blades is really super easy. You may need loosen the back, turn to the left to loosen, just turn it around a little bit. This unit pops off, you pop the new attachment back on, just hold it down with your thumb. Turn right to tighten, eventually tightens, give it a good turn, then you just pop it back into place and it's ready to go. In case you haven't seen a multi-tool in action before, when you turn it on, this blade oscillates and that's what allows you to, to cut the various surfaces. This one's also got six speed settings. Uh, I normally keep it just down the middle around two or three. It just gives you more control uh, when, when it comes to cutting through stuff. Uh, but obviously if you need something a little bit more rigorous, you can just crank it up to six uh, and there we go. And conversely, if you want to slow things down, you just take it down to one. What we're going to be doing today with this multi-tool is we're going to be removing this wall because what we want to do is we're going to create a recess that's going to push our shower back into the room next door and we'll build that wall out so we've got a nice walk-in shower. This is just the standard plasterboard. It's about two centimeters thick. It's pretty easy to, to cut through. Our shower tray is going to be 1.8 meters. Uh, we've got a joist on the wall that I'll be working to because that's uh, the, the neatest place for us to get to and that conveniently for us is exactly 1.8 meters. I purchased a set of these blades off eBay. They're from a brand called Sabercut. Uh, they look quite well finished. They look quite good quality. So these are the ones that we're going to be using to, to cut through this wall. When you use the multi-tool to cut through grouting, through cement, or through plasterboard, it gets incredibly dusty and there's a lot of very fine dust that basically goes airborne. Um, I use a mask so as not to breathe too much of that stuff in because it is uh, it will be harmful, it's not certainly going to be good for you. So we purchased these off Amazon and they're really really great. They've so far been very very effective. So um, I'm going to put this on now and I'm going to be cutting down this line here to start pulling away this, uh, this plasterboard. I've now plugged it in, so just before I start, I'm going to turn it on so that you can see how it works. Back on speed setting 3. That's the slowest speed on speed setting 1. So as you can see, the blade oscillates really, really quickly. Um, I, like I said, keep mine on speed setting 3 for me. That's more than sufficient in terms of having the control that I want over something. I've not had to cut through anything where I have required a 6. Um, 3 is a very, very comfortable setting. 1 is a little bit slow, but the 3 does, uh, does tend to work. So we're going to start cutting this. On the three, we've got the line that's already kind of made for us in terms of a visual cue. So we'll start getting through that.
as you can see, it's incredibly dusty. I also put the goggles on just to have that extra layer of protection so I didn't get any additional dust in my eyes. I've just cut the square out for you just to show you how we've gone around. Uh, basically, there's a joist there and a joist there, so there's two wooden panels that are keeping us together. I've just cut the square out so that I can actually see where I'm going to be cutting through. There's another piece uh, just here, and uh, that'll be staggered throughout the, the interior wall. So I'm just going to keep going uh, and pulling this wall out as we go along using this. I'll probably carry on going with the smaller pieces because it's just so much easier to take those and throw them in the, uh, in the trash. So there we go, I hope that gives you a good idea of what this tool is capable of. It's highly maneuverable, you can cut where you want to, you can punch holes in to the wall just to see if there's anything behind it. You can cut on the angle to get straight lines going left and right. Um, just a very, very super easy tool to use. And I just felt that there's nothing about here that I can get my, my arm up to, so I'll just be cutting big pieces out now as we go along. So I hope that gives you an insight into what the multi-tool is capable of. As I've said, you can buy an assortment of different attachments and blades for different applications. This is the one that we used for cutting of the tiles. You can see it's uh, slightly worn now and uh, it's still sharp and it would still get the job done. But it's certainly taken a hammering, but we did get through some very, very tough points uh, on the tiled floor. The blade that is currently on the multi-tool is the wood and metal cutting blade. I found these incredibly useful and uh, you can use them for an assortment of different applications. I'll be honest, there are a couple of attachments that I'm not entirely sure what they are supposed to be used for. They did come as part of the Sabre Cut set, so at some stage I'm sure I'll figure out what to use them for. If you're into DIY and you don't have a multi-tool, I would probably recommend getting one. They are extremely versatile as tools. And this has probably come as trusty now for me as my impact driver. I tend to use these an incredible amount. Uh, and the fact that you can get different blade attachments just makes them super useful. So as I've said, I hope this gives you a good insight into the multi-tool and what it's capable of. And I hope to see you on our next video. <music>